Oh my goodness, great morning. Oh, chit chat Kit Kats. Well, today I got the Vita Cup Hydration Coffee with electrolytes, and uh, it's pretty good. Now, when I make the cold, I do it, you know, eight ounces of water. Then I'll do the um, half and half. I'll make it into a brevet because I don't put the, the um, you know, if I have hot coffee, I put butter in it. But if I have the cold coffee, then I make it with a brevet so you get the extra fat in it. And then the sweetener of choice at this point. I'm using a little Torani. Um, it's easier to mix in because it's a liquid versus uh, using the um, monk fruit, which I have, which is a powder. Okay, the powder doesn't blend so well when it's cold. So anyway, we're still looking. And the other thing I got is called Epic. And it's um, bison, grass-fed bison, 100% grass-fed um, and these are good to take with you. It's an uncured bacon and cranberry bar. So I'll show you. I did try one of them last night. Here they are. It's it's kind of a small bar, but it's real easy. You can take it with you in your purse or something if you're doing carnivore. So these are easy to take with you. The other thing that I like is the fatty. It's called fatty brand. Um, now those I have ordered as well, um, beef sticks, and they are like double the size of normal beef sticks, and they're not spicy like some of them are, and so again, an easy thing to take with you if you happen to be carnivore. Although I'm finding a lot of um, things you can do on the road. You can go to Arby's, you can go to any of the hamburger places, and um, you know, just get it without the bun. So those are pretty easy. But if you happen to be doing a lot of driving and you um, just don't have the time to stop, these are really good to have as well. Now, I did have one of these last night. I did try it, and it's pretty yummy. You know, I wasn't sure at first about them uh, when I was reading um, the ingredients, and it's kind of expensive, I have to say that. Um, I think it was like $80 for this, and it's um, 12 bars, 13-ounce bars, okay? So they're not cheap, but they are something that you can take, and it is, um, it is tasty and uh, easy to grab with you as a, is the hydration coffee. Now... A study that I just found said that a coffee, they did the experiment of having coffee versus um, just the glasses of water. And they found out the coffee was just as hydrating as the water was. Okay, and you're not losing what they thought you were losing before. Uh, it's the same thing that I found out with carnivore. Um, you know, and I put up the the um, uh, video where the woman and the guy went and had their fat levels checked in their body, etc. They had full body MRI scans done. And this idea that you, if you have a carnivore diet, high fat diet, that you're going to get clogged arteries and, and uh, affecting your heart, et cetera, is a total fabrication. And that the things that we have been told that you have to eat a lot more grains and things first and the vegetable oils is totally erroneous, 180 degrees away from the truth of the matter. Um, so it's, you know, a little disheartening when we find out that the things we have been told, and even when I was in the hospital and I had my thyroidectomy, the, the, when I was in the hospital for that one day, I swear they're trying to kill me <laughs> because they said you have to have all these carbs 
and um, we, the only thing we give you is was like apple, apple, um, apple sauce, and of course with that my blood sugar spiked, and they're giving me insulin injections. And when I came in, my my blood sugar was quite fine, okay? But, um, yeah, it was just unbelievable. They're really pushing all the carbs on you and everything, and, and, uh, and it's the worst thing for me. Any kind of starchy uh, carb and things converts to sugar on me immediately. I cannot have rice. I love potatoes, cannot have potatoes. Um, so I have gone full carnivore. Now the only thing I'm having that's not carnivore is my coffee. Um, I do have the cheese and things like that. I do have cheese. And um, so that I have been having a bit of um, I guess you could say it's more keto carnivore, wouldn't you? Keto carnivore, uh, because I do implement um, having the coffee as well. Um, but then again, I'm not doing the other keto things like almond flour or any of that. I'm strictly carnivore um, things except for my sweetener and my coffee. Other than that, everything I have is uh, carnivore. Um, yeah, I, no, I take that back for the most part because I did make like an omelet yesterday and I had a little bit of the salsa on top. Okay, but um, when I have those things, it's very sparingly. It's not like I'm having a great big meal of those things, but I will use a little bit of salsa or something uh, on, on my meal. Now, the, the thing that I say I did like, um, and I have been making, um, I've been making the, uh, like the cloud bread. It's, it's made from egg, egg whites. Mainly it's egg white, egg white protein. And, and so I do make that with a little bit of the um, Tarani sweetener in it. If I want something a little sweet, I have been making that very quick to make. And um, I do really like the carnivore potatoes, which are made with um, various cheeses, egg whites, um, etc. Uh, so that I plan on making again. I had that the other day, and it was really good. Um, so I will make a meal out of that uh, pretty soon, maybe today or tomorrow. I might make that again. Um, but... Yeah, uh, it has been doing well with me. I'm still, you know, I'm not real thrilled with doing the Tarani because it's sucralose, which I'm not thrilled with. I would like to find a better option. Um, but I cannot do stevia. I just cannot. It is so bitter for me. I just, no, there's no way I can do stevia. So I am still researching to find something else that I can use. Uh, I've tried to do the coffee without any sweetener in it, but I just can't gag that down either. It's just too hard for me. So I'm still in the process. You know, I am lessening the sweetener all the time as I go um, because I would like to eventually be off of it totally. But I am working on things. Um, I do take uh, also a um, hydration uh, things that I put in my water as well because I cannot drink straight water. I get really nauseated immediately and I just cannot force it down. So I have to have something in it. I have to either do coffee, my hydration coffee, or, you know, I've been doing the, the hint or the, um, or the, uh, just a regular bottle water with the hydration things in it. Um, and to get it down, that's what I have to do. I have to have the hydration flavoring something in it so, because otherwise I just get so nauseated that I can't, I absolutely cannot drink it. Okay. 
Now, when I put the hydration things in it, no problem. I can drink it without a problem. Uh, and I'm really happy that I found the hydration instant coffee because these I can take with me and, um, you know, make it at any time. Now, the difficulty, of course, when you're doing that is getting your milk product in there as well. Um, so you have to, that's a little difficult to, to um, be able to take with you. Now, I do have some little cartons of whole milk that do not have to be refrigerated, which I can use. Um, so maybe I'll try that and see how that works with it. Um, although I do like the heavier cream and stuff in it. So uh, I'm still working on that. But you can get the whole milk that is not needing to be refrigerated. So maybe I'll try that today and see how that works. Uh, if I can do the uh, cold coffee with some of that type of milk in it. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, on that note, uh, that's what's going on here in carnivore land. Now I am still having problems with some of my joints uh, because I have, um, I have uh, the Lyme disease, okay, and that can affect your joints. And so for that, I have been taking the, um, oh, what's it called, fen fenbendazole. I take a very high dosage of that, and it does help because uh, the Lyme can also affect your cognition and everything. And if I don't take it, the fenbendazole um, daily, for that, I do have difficulties with um, dizzy and uh, thinking and stuff. Uh, it, the Lyme disease can be very difficult to process and go through. Uh, and uh, like I said, it can affect my joints, although um, taking the fenbendazole really does help it a lot. Uh, that's one thing that I do continue to take. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here. And um, Ronaldo went down to pick up the uh, a um, pen thing that I can put up in here, a little play area, because like I said, tomorrow I have to go down to El Paso for appointments, and it's at least a four hour, at least four hours. Um, that I'm away from home to do that. So I am going to make him a little play area over here that I can set up and uh, he can, um, and he can have his uh, food and water, you know, and uh, his bed and toys, etc., a potty area. Uh, so looking forward to that coming today and getting that set up for little Mick, Mick and getting him used to being in there a little bit. So um, that's what's going on today. Oh my goodness. But, uh, and then tomorrow, um, oh, tomorrow's when I have my, my appointment in El Paso. And then the day after that, uh, Mr. Mickey, Mick Mick goes in for his wellness check and his other set, his second set of um, shots. Uh, he had the five in one to begin with. And so when I take him in, they will give him his second set of shots. And then um, that will be it. I have my medications and I have um, these other things set up. So I should be able to get in van, in the van and travel pretty soon. Although now we have, of course, this horrible heat wave <laughs> happening. So not the best time for that, but it is coming soon that I'll be able to take little Mick Mick and go on the road. Now, the one thing with little Mick Mick, he wants to be right next to me in the car, in the van, that's not possible. 
and uh, you, you've got the puppy seat. It's way over the other side, so I have to get him to where he will stay in the puppy seat to travel. Ah, so uh, that has to be worked on before we hit the road and I can go anywhere with him safely. I can't have him up there and then jumping out, you know. Ah, that would be dire. So um, I am going to work on that with him and uh, figure a way that we can travel safely and get to our destination, etc. Oh, so many things to, to continue to do. I think I want to take him out again this morning real quick before it gets too hot out there. Um, I did take him out early this morning, but I want to take him out again for just a little bit before uh, he has to be in the house for most of the day because it is going to be a hot one again today. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here, and we'll see you online.